Hi guys, how you doing? This is your friend Alex. Today I'm going to show you how to move all your WhatsApp chat history from an iPhone to an Android. Please watch this video from the beginning till the end because you don't want to miss any details in order to do this transfer successful. In this case, I have an iPhone X and a Pixel 3 from 2018. And this Pixel now supports Android 12. In order for this to work, guys, your Pixel needs to be factory reset. That means you're going to start from zero. Right now, I'm running iOS 15.4. Let me check on WhatsApp it's here and there's an update so i always recommend you to do updates before doing this i suggest you to have both devices charged 100 percent now it's ready for the update now we can open it and another thing i'm going to do is i'm going to do a backup so i have auto backup daily and include videos i'm going to back it up right now i'm going to back up all the chat history on my whatsapp iphone before doing this now on the pixel if you already have it configured i recommend you to do a backup and then restart the pixel so you want the pixel like this so google pixel doesn't use an app like samsung a smart switch so you're just going to have to configure the phone like it was brand new let me show you uh, some of the chats that i have here i have conversation I have pictures and videos also audio messages this method is free you can transfer your whatsapp chat history from an iphone to a pixel and from an iphone to a samsung and from an iphone to an android device with android 12. all right so let's just start it i'm gonna click get started connect to a mobile network in this case we don't have a sim card so we're gonna connect it to wi-fi so it's gonna search for the wi-fi here's my wi-fi it says getting your phone ready and that's it. And immediately is asking you copy apps and data. You can choose to transfer your apps, photos, contacts, Google account, and more. So I'm going to click next and then use your old device. You need your old Android or iPhone device. Turn it on and keep it unlocked. Okay. Next. Find your old device cable. Use a cable that fits your old device. This is usually the cable used for charging. In this case, we're going to need a special cable that is going to go from lighting to USB-C. And I happen to have it lighting to USB-C. If you don't have it, I'm going to put a link in the description so you can buy it at Amazon. All right. So connect both devices and let's see what happened. Immediately, it says trust this computer. You're going to click trust and it says device are connected. On the next screen, you can sign in to your Google account or create a new one. If you don't add your Google account, your apps, iOS, calendar events, and iOS notes won't transfer. So you need a Google account. Okay. Click next. It says checking info. Now I'm going to sign in to the same Google account that I use on my iPhone. Okay. Password. Next. Agree. It says getting ready to copy. If you have a lot of data on your iPhone device, this step might take a while. I don't have a lot of data on my iPhone, so this is going to be fast. It says calculating remaining time. Here you have to be patient. And that's why I asked you to, at the beginning, to make sure that you have your both devices charged 100% because we don't know how long this is going to take. As we can see, it's doing it pretty fast. About one minute left. Okay, and it says choose what to copy. So you have apps, you have contacts, photos, messages, calendars. I'm going to choose everything, but on the apps, click here on the apps, and you can see that you have 13 apps. And look, you have WhatsApp Messenger, all right? Since this video is about WhatsApp Messenger, I'm going to deselect all the apps and I'm going to select WhatsApp Messenger only. I click OK and I'm going to click Copy. And look at this, transfer WhatsApp chats. Scan the QR code with your iPhone to open WhatsApp, then tap Start. In order to scan this QR code, I need my camera. I need to put it on top. And you can see here that it read the QR code. When you click on it, open WhatsApp, open. And here it is, guys. Move chats to Android. Transfer your chat history and media to your new Android device. You will not be able to transfer later if you skip this step. Now, for a lot of people that for some reason their iPhone camera is not working, you can reach this screen by going to WhatsApp also. OK, so you're going to go to settings and you're going to go to chats. And from here, there's an option saying move chats to Android. You're going to click on it and you are reaching the same screen as if you scan the QR code on the pixel. All right. So either way, you're good. You're going to click start and look at that. It says copying your data. Continue on your new phone. We don't need the iPhone anymore because it says continue on your new phone, but we're going to keep both devices connected. Google is going to ask me a lot of stuff. It says uh, backup to Google Drive, more, use location. I don't want to use location. Don't send diagnostics, accept, additional terms, accept, set a pin. Uh, I'm going to skip the pin. I'm going to skip the pin, continue set up, continue. I'm going to say, do it later. Don't do it later. I mean, do it later. I'm just skipping stuff. No, thanks. No, thanks. 
It says, get more tips and tricks. No thanks. Copying's done, it says. Apps, contacts, photos. So you just click done. And in order to use text messages on the Android, you need to turn off the iMessage on the iPhone. All right, click done. Getting your phone ready, it says. Okay, now let's look where is WhatsApp. WhatsApp is not here, but let's see what's going on here. Look at this. It says completing setup. If you click here, you're going to see install zero out of 10 applications. If you click there, you're going to see what applications are being installed and you can actually cancel those. Digital well-being, I don't need. Google TV, I don't need. Okay, what I do need is WhatsApp. So where is WhatsApp? Install. Look, installing. It says WhatsApp messaging, install it. And it actually finished right away. So if you go to, um, now you can see WhatsApp right here. So before we didn't see it, but now it finished installing. So now we're going to click immediately to see what's going on. Welcome to WhatsApp. I'm going to agree and continue. And now it's going to ask me to verify the WhatsApp phone number. So I need to use the same phone number I use for my WhatsApp on the iPhone. And this number is, the country is 1, and the phone number is 954-892-1675. Okay, I'm going to click Next, and I'm going to double check the number. I'm going to click OK, and I'm going to get, you. we couldn't send an SMS to your number. Please check your number and try again in one hour. So if you have that message, you can click Call Me. And I have the SIM card on this other phone, so I'm going to pick it up. That's it. Now I'm going to click continue, allowed, allowed. And look at this, guys. It says importing chat history. We need permission to restore your chats. You will not be able to import later if you skip this step. So, of course, we're going to click start. And now it's going to import all our chat history from the WhatsApp iPhone to the Pixel 3. That's the beauty of the Pixel 3 that is still supporting Android 12. And again, this device is from 2018. So I'm showing you that with an old device, you can still do it. And this is the screen that you want to see, guys. Importing chat history, import complete. Click next, next. And I'm supposed to see all my chats. You can set up this really quick, like daily, choose your account. Okay, including videos and done. And you should be done. And here it is, guys. You have all the chats from the iPhone. You see, we have all the chats from our previous um, chat history on the iPhone. Okay, guys, so it was successful. I just show you that you can do it for free. You don't need a software. Now, if you want to do it from the Android to the iPhone, then you're going to need a software. And I have videos about different softwares that can help you doing that. So I'm going to put those links in the description if you want to do that. But thank you so much for watching this video, guys. I was able to transfer all my WhatsApp chat history from an iPhone to an Android for free. Don't forget to subscribe, guys. That's where you can support my channel. And I'll see you in my next video. Thank you and bye-bye.